The last lecture. Autism took my voice and physical control. Experts took all hope of being found. I was living dead, pleading for real death from the tomb of my isolation. I was always present, waiting, observing in isolation's bitter cold, I discovered the ember of love. The ember taught me that I am from grace and awareness of love, and hell became tolerable until the angel named Poorman discovered my voice. In May 2012, I wrote a speech for an imaginary award from Brownsburg High School. My life had begun newly here. I had never been in Gen Ed. Since then, from teaching and mentoring Joe, Kelsey, Lydia, Brock, Jeremy, Evan, Clayton, Julian, and others, along with many normals, I've learned leading comes naturally to me. I love to encourage and inspire. I've learned I'm powerful in encouragement to typers, parents, therapists, and on this page, to our friends of Jake. I have forgiven Carmel's life skills teachers, office executives, and administrators who imprisoned me. From forgiveness, I learned that my own knowing love is enriched in forgiveness, that I release myself when I forgive. Life is lighter, living from forgiveness, and forgiveness is not patient or soft, but is strong and energy-giving. Through Save by Typing, I've made it possible for others to be discovered competent and escape their tombs. Over 50 Hoosiers, as young as 7 and as old as 60, now have a voice and for the first time are known as competent. From Dreams Achieved, I learned going for dreams makes life more fun and interesting. From our English Legacy Project, I came to love the legal limits of the state's power to deny an education. Knowledge in this arena empowers my pastoral leadership project for college. It will light the way for many to be educated. I will help and support all who come from the tomb to overcome severe self-esteem and confidence issues, learn to engage, and to join the world of making a difference. Forgive the liars and dominatrixes of the challenged nonverbal. I likely will struggle desperately with many opposed to typing. Looking life's challenges in the eye, I expect to hail little souls as my favorites and big ones as very polluted with their self-importance. I will write and teach learners the way of the nonverbal, the real relatedness to being in beauty, its richness, the willing depth of relatedness quietly, quite powerfully, in the amazing forefront of any words or thoughts. The great Himalayan silence that holds us all has become my friend. I will encourage and inspire the abandoned denied their educations, and government to do its job in the schools, even if it requires federal troops to educate the disabled. In the community, I will change the way challenged persons are known and engaged. Their experience has so much to teach us. A dream I will achieve? I will make $9 million by December 31, 2019, fund being with the nonverbal and lead them into power and possibility. And your hearts, my heroes, will be with me. Truly, none of this would be possible but for you. When I was new to education, you surrounded me with your love and passionate attention. When I had terrible times with autism, you only helped me more. You were willing to honestly see my potential, apply yourselves and me, and not give up. You listened with open hearts and believed in my voice. I've learned so much from you. Teaching is my life's profession, and every one of you has a part in my work. Shaped by your love and the credibility of a diploma, I can call the lost and abandoned from their tombs as a priest of possibilities. You made that possible. In my eyes, who is the servant is the master. Thank you for your example. One phrase captures me and my legacy. Eternally grateful. Thank you.